This is easily one of the wildest stories that is happening right now, and this shows you just how completely corrupt Hollywood truly is as a city inside and out. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this story. Beverly Hills 9210 actor details alarming road rage attack in LA begs for law enforcement response. Yesterday, I experienced an alarming incident involving a group of individuals on mini bikes. While stuck in traffic, my car was approached aggressively by one of these riders, leading to an unsettling confrontation in an attempt to assess any damage or I exited my car this action unfortunately escalated into a physical altercation which I navigated to protect myself I am relieved to report that my daughter and I are both completely unscathed while the but the incident has left me deeply concerned about the growing boldness of such groups who disrupt the public safety and peace the situation highlights a larger issue of hooliganism on our streets and the need for effective law enforcement responses to such behavior as a citizen and a parent i find it unacceptable that groups can freely engage in this kind of behavior causing fear and chaos while the response from authority seems insufficient i've always been an advocate for standing up against intimidation and misconduct but this incident reinforces my belief in the importance of personal and community safety we must address the underlying issues that lead to such disruptive behavior and ensure that our streets are safe for everyone. I urge city officials and law enforcement to take decisive action against such lawlessness and provide the necessary resources to prevent further occurrences. And uh, as we all know, especially in cities like LA, lawlessness is, of course, a big issue. It is something that we continue to see more and more stories about, which is also one of the reasons why celebrities continue to leave that city time and time again. Ian Ziering exit his vehicle and throw a punch before a vicious brawl breaks out. The 59-year-old actor then kicking back before getting away. And this is the part that really just disgusts me the most with all of this right here. This, this is just crazy. Moments later, he seemed comforting his terrified 12-year-old daughter who witnessed the whole thing. Good for him for standing up against, you know, these these crazy people. Uh, good for him for, you know, calling for more law enforcement, better law enforcement. You know, that's exactly what we need more of is, uh, of course, especially places like this, you know, we need to continue to see a call for that. And believe it or not, but Ian Ziering actually has some pretty positive things to say about Trump that he has said in the past. So I believe that Ian is probably someone who leans more in the common sense slash conservative type of mindset. And, uh, you know, so it is, I think, I don't think this is one of those cases where we are seeing a complete and total hypocrite. So who continues to vote for all the insanity that makes cities like Hollywood worse and worse. So, with that being said, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.